Hey guys, welcome to Nice Line. This is episode five, and this time I am with my good friend Lisa Fakus. She's a Texas native as well. We've probably been playing together for what, 10 years? Yeah. Maybe more. A long time. Um, I've seen her throw a lot of amazing shots over the years, but this one in particular, <laughs> we absolutely had to highlight. The Nick Hyde Memorial round two, hole mm -hmm. 16. Yeah. You know, it's, it's, I think, the hardest hole in the course. It is. And, uh, you know, if you're not Hard. in position yeah. off the tee, it kind of makes you scramble. So, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. off the tee, you said you threw your wraith? Yeah, I did throw a wraith off the tee, trying to get that nice hyzer line um, through the right side. There's a gap that you can finish and just hyzer back to the left and put yourself in position on the fairway. Uh, and I executed that well. And then from there, I pulled out a strike because uh, I knew I had some room to um, get some power behind it. Yeah. Um, that second shot is really tough to execute and um, to find a good spot on the fairway. So I went for it, got up there, and found myself in a, in a kind of a weird spot again. Yeah, you kind of um, want to be on the on mm -hmm. the right side but mm -hmm. you still want to get around that corner exactly because there's like ob and, and right. also like barbed wire on the left side so you want to be on the right yeah you want to be you don't want to flirt with that ob like you're saying um so yeah you want to just you know work the best with what you get and um so walked up to my third shot and uh had that low ceiling on the right hand side i was a little bit like tucked under a tree just a tiny bit not too yeah. bad so i had a little bit of a like i had to um, bend my knees a little extra. Yeah. And I saw a flick line there, so, and I love throwing a power flick um, with my purple strike. Yeah. This, this one right here. Um, Did you see any other lines, or was it like that's no. yeah. the obvious line? I gotta take that. It like, was, what was your mm -hmm. what was your thought process between deciding that line? Uh, I remember my caddy Jeff. He told me go for it, and I was like, okay. I, the, how I can get it up there is with this shot. Yeah. This shot. And it takes me, this shot, it's weird. Like, this shot takes me back to Wilco, like, hole three at Wilco. Uh, it's just a a shot where I learned to throw this power flick really well. Yeah. So, like, my mind goes back there, like, you can execute this. Yeah. So, I was like, let's, let's get that shot going here. And just, like, lined it up and... Uh, it had that nice flip on it, and it carried really nice uh, yeah. up to the circle. So I was able to have a putt at it, and yeah, that's all you can ask for. Pretty much a drop in, and like you said, I like yeah. I liked your yeah. thought of if I want to go for it, mm -hmm. what's the best way to do that? How am and I going to get with there? With this yeah. crazy Anheuser uh, side yeah, arm, yeah, dude. That's one of my um, I want to say trick shots, but that's one of my like more like comfortable shots that I'm like I can really execute yeah. that on a high level and like get a lot of power and a straight line it's yeah. a, it's a really hard shot to do so I was stoked to get it yeah like, and so why did you choose this disc okay. I mean yeah. the, when it was high and mm. turning mm. you knew did you know that it was gonna come yeah. out yeah definitely so um I think it's a minus one two turn fade on the strike so I mean, a lot of speed. We got 13 and full glide, so 13.6 for the flight numbers. And you knew if you turned it like up high like yeah, that, yeah, I was come back. really familiar with. Yeah, I kind of I know my distances distances really well with the disc. So yeah, if I I trusted it on that turn. Yeah, like to know it's gonna hopefully hook up at that moment yeah. and uh, yeah, it was a really memorable shot. Sweet. Yeah, I loved it. Yeah, it was beautiful. Yeah. Obviously, we were stoked to have Jomez there covering us and providing us with these clips of this amazing hole that Lisa yeah. played. Mm -hmm. um, you pretty much had a tap in from there yeah. and walked off with a, a great Dude. four on that hole. Thanks, so, man. Props. Sweet shot. Appreciate I remember that. standing behind you thinking, like, what would I do from there? Mm. Because there were so many options. That's a cool thought, yeah. And, and it, it was, was just beautiful. It was one of those where you had to rack your mind and be like, okay, uh, well, this is tricky. Uh, it's funny, like, Rebecca Cox, she remembered that shot too and yeah. she was like giving me props for it too yeah. so it was a it was a pretty cool shot yeah definitely yeah. was so <laughs> if you guys liked watching Lisa play ever or specifically at this tournament make sure you guys go follow her on Instagram or any of her social media what's your yeah. Instagram at Lisa Fakus it's uh, F-A-J-K-U-S uh, but yeah just Lisa Fakus check, check me out I'm on Facebook and Instagram so. sweet so make sure you follow her and if you guys enjoy these episodes make sure you subscribe so you can stay updated for when episode 6 drops um, congrats Thank on you. everything and we will see you guys on the next episode Peace.